Spartans. Perhaps no other people were more devoted to the idea of the warrior and the warrior culture. It's believed the Spartans were the first society to create a system of comprehensive military training. And that training started early and was intense. We've seen the first steps in training a Spartan warrior are to toughen the mind and body and learn hand-to-hand -hand combat. But at an early age, they also began training with real weapons, like the sword. At the age of 13, young Spartan warriors entered a new phase of training. They were handed weapons and taught fierce fighting styles and tactics. And one of the first weapons they would have fought with was this, the kopis. So what are some of the basic techniques uh, they would use with this? Okay, very basic stuff. Right. Just a, just a cut right there. Yeah, just here, or maybe from here. Watch what he's doing when he swings. <clears throat> a lot of people think you take a sword and you just hack and you're using your arm and shoulder strength. Wrong. What he's doing is as he's coming through, he's setting up his body so then when he comes down, his whole body is striking with this. The word kopis means I cut in Greek. And seeing this sword coming at me at almost 60 miles per hour, I'd say it's pretty well named. That, by the way, looks really scary coming at me, this whirling blade of death. The Spartan warriors were experts with a kopis. But for battlefield fighting, the Spartans relied on a very different kind of sword. Yes, this, the Spartans prefer to fight from very close distance. And that's very close distance. That's pretty much eye to eye. Yeah. This is the Laconian short sword. It was the weapon of choice for the Spartan soldier. The sword is extremely short, just 19 inches long, 15 inches of which is the straight double-edged blade. Often serrated for added cutting power, the blade is usually two and a half inches wide and a full half inch thick. It's a weapon designed for one thing, cutting up an opponent that's right on top of you. It's very heavy. It's about three kilograms, more than a sword. Three kilos is pretty darn heavy. That means yeah. extremely big men, warriors. It's not for everyone. All right, so we know that you having that against the guy with the shield and a longer blade, you're at a disadvantage. But there are some things you can do. I have two options. Go back right. as far as I can. So if he's coming at you, you just give him go inside, All right. use your shield against you, so come against me. Yeah, I can't do anything. Come against me. And now the knife is just here. Yeah. Now the knife, I can't really. I could by the I time know. I do this, I have done he's cut me. Anyway. He's I get it. Awesome. So you gotta be quick. If you're gonna have that, you better be on that guy right away and use that kind of angle. So if he comes at you like this, boom, I can't boom, I'm cut. Boom, I can't do anything. Relying on a short sword like this for your main weapon may seem illogical. But in the close quarter combat of the Spartan Phalanx, it was a perfect weapon for quick, stabbing attacks. This knife-like sword is different than other swords I've used. And the reason's pretty clear to me. Unlike other warrior cultures, the weapon wasn't a symbol of pride and personal glory. For the Spartans, this was just a simple tool, but it was a tool that fit perfectly into their idea of teamwork.